Dear friends in Christ, I will come you to this special presentation, Greek 2. The title of the presentation is in the noun, mysterion, literally translated in English as mystery, and its use in the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters. We shall explore where it is found, and then we shall try to understand what are these Pauline and Deuteropauline letters. Then, we shall also proceed to know where do we find the word mysterion, mystery, in the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters, and how many times is it used. Thereafter, we shall also discover, is mysterion a late weight or late motive, or both? We shall also successively continue to know what are the theological impact of mysterion? Then, I shall give my personal reflection and finally the final observation. The noun mysterion in English, literally translated as mystery and its use in the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters, where is it found? The word mysterion is found in the following letters which are divided into two disputed and undisputed letters or simply Pauline and Deuteropauline letters. Some scholars argue that some books were not written by St. Paul but maybe by his followers or the Pauline school. What are the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters? Pauline are those letters which are believed to have been written by St. Paul. They are also known as undisputed letters, and these are Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Philippians, 1 Thessalonians, and Philemon. Then we have the Deuteropauline letters. They are those letters which are disputed that they were not written by St. Paul. That is why they are also called disputed letters. These include Colossians, Ephesians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 and 2 Timothy, and Titus. Some scholars include Hebrews too. How many times does the word mysterion occur in the New Testament? The word mysterion is used 28 times in the New Testament. And how many times is it used? It is used only 20 times. Six times in Ephesians. Four times in Colossians. Once in 2 Thessalonians. Twice in 1 Timothy, twice in Romans, six times in 1 Corinthians. How is it used in the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters? The word mysterion has two possible meanings. The unmanifested or private counsel of God, God's secret. Transcendence, ultimate reality. The possible meanings which may conform to understanding is transcendence and ultimate reality. What are some of the synonyms for the Pauline use of mysterion? Salvation, divine revelation, the gospel, faith. For example, Ephesians chapter 3 says that God by revelation made known to him the mystery. Is mysterion mystery a late weight, a late motive, or both? Just a reminder in case we forget, a late weight is a literary device in which the author repeats a word, object, image, or action. This technique may provide thematic unit or thematic emphasis within a text. Biblical authors sometimes exploit the wider range of meaning of a word root by repeating different forms of the same root within a passage 
or across several passages. The noun mysterium is a word which occurs quite frequently throughout the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters. It definitely seems to provide thematic emphasis, especially in certain passages. For example, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9, chapter 3 verse 9, chapter 5 verse 32, and chapter 6 verse 19. Therefore, as used in the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters, yes, mysterion is a letwet. Late motif. This is the recurrent theme in a literary text. The favorite theme of an author or of a school style movement across different texts. The noun mysterion conveys thematic overtones in the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters. These thematic overtones are well shown in the letter to the Colossians four consecutive times. Chapter 1 verse 26, chapter 1 verse 27, chapter 2 verse 2, and chapter 4 verse 3. Subsequently, as used in the Pauline and Deuteropauline letters, certainly Mysterion is a late motif. What is the theological impact of Mysterion? The word is used in connection with the charisma of Christ in Pauline letters. For example, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 23. The mystery is not itself the revelation per se, but rather the object of revelation. Another specific mystery is what Paul tells the Corinthians about the change that will overtake the Christians still alive at Parousia. The word mysterion has apocalyptic significance. The word has an eschatological sense. My personal observation on mysterion in Pauline and Deuteropauline letters, Paul in my opinion, did not think of mysterion in the sense in which the word is widely used today. Paul, in some verses of his writings, used mysterion to mean salvation or God's plan of salvation, which was once hidden but now is revealed. See the following examples. Romans chapter 16 verse 25, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 7, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 9, as well as Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. But the final observation, in conformity with the usage of the noun mysterion in Pauline and Deuteropauline letters, by and large, it is much used to imply revealed truth that surpass the powers of natural reason. In its strict sense, a mystery is a supernatural truth. One that of its very nature lies above the finite intelligence. 